This is quite exciting. We have a Lopus oleracus, Texas spiny lizard. Now these are diurnal, and they usually live in the trees. So you'll see them more in like mesquite land and so on. I have never seen one here at the property. My theory is, because I removed the bog from over here and replaced it with a cactus garden, drying out this western end, it's attracting different creatures, and the Texas spiny lizard, very common here in South Texas, Central Texas. I used to see them when I was a child at the UTSA. I can remember playing when I was a little boy. My dad would take me. He would be working in the lab doing research, the new science labs at UTSA and uh, the University of Texas at San Antonio. And it would be summer, and I would play in the rocky, you know, unfinished property and I would see these type of lizards the Texas spiny lizard and now I believe at least one which means hopefully a family has come to live on the professor's property that would be great and again the blind gives us this opportunity to be able to watch things here's that cactus garden this is where the professor had the bog before so the water was moving down and it would keep it but it required a lot of water as time passed and this place became drier. So I replaced that with a cactus garden and now we're getting spiny lizards. This is how the organism that is the ashram functions. Oh, I'm very excited about the Texas spiny lizard. I hope we have a family of them.